Welcome to Saturday Story Circle, always on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Fidget? Fidget! Hey, Fidget, take off those headphones and listen to me! What are you doing wearing those headphones all the time? Listening to podcasts? <laughs> Nobody listens to podcasts anymore. That's so 2008. Well, people may still be making podcasts, but there's certainly no new ideas in podcasts anymore. An underwater western? Well, that does sound pretty intriguing. Hey, you want to hear me? Okay, fine. I'll listen to an episode. Push play, push play. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Tales of Deputy Guppy. Return with us now to the thrilling days of not too long ago, when the West was wild and the rivers in the West were even wilder. Luckily, there was one fish to maintain law and order, one fish to reel in those who dare disturb the peace and tranquility of Driftwood Gulch, one fish to stand for truth, justice, and honor in the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Deputy Guppy! Today's adventure, first day on the job. This is the town of Driftwood Gulch, a small settlement nestled in the sediment of a small creek in what would become South Dakota in the year 1889. At the time this story takes place, however, the year was 1876, and Driftwood Gulch was the last somewhat civilized outpost before the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Our story begins underwater, in the office of the sheriff, of Driftwood Gulch. Well, if it is my number one deputy. A little late this morning, are we, Guppy? Sorry, Sheriff. Aunt Pike fixed up a big stack of her griddle flakes this morning, and, well, you know how she gets if you don't eat yourself at least two or three full stacks. I do indeed. <laughs> Why, my belly's aching just thinking about it. Well, I'm sorry I'm late just the same. No, oh, Aunt, don't worry about it at all, Gup. I was just pulling your fin. Morning's been nice and quiet. Of course, it's always nice and quiet in Driftwood Gulch, huh? Yeah, I reckon you're right, Sheriff. This town is pretty... What? Blazes? It looks like we spoke too soon. Look, Sheriff, that fish is riding through town, shooting off his gun. Yeah, and he's coming this way. Hey, hold it there. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. You Sheriff Bath? That I am. Now, who in blazes are you? Name's Johnson, sir. Messenger from Cheyenne. Sorry for causing such a ruckus, Sheriff, but I needed to get your attention as soon as possible. I've ridden all night with an important message for you, sir. Message? Yeah, from who? From the mayor in Cheyenne. Here's his letter, sir. Hmm. Oh, boy, this isn't good. What's the matter, Sheriff? Well, it appears there's been some trouble at the Cheyenne prison. Mayor's put out the call for extra law enforcement. So it looks like I'm going to have to ride back down there with you, Johnson. Uh, yes, sir. All right, you go down the livery and fetch my seahorse paintbrush. And uh, you get yourself a fresh seahorse while you're at it, huh? Tell Perch I'll cover the costs. I'll pack up my saddlebags here, and I'll be ready to leave in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Well, if there's trouble, Sheriff, shouldn't I go with you? No, Gup. I need you to stay here. Stay here? But why? Well, I mean to look after the town, that's why. With me and Cheyenne, someone's going to need to maintain law and order here in Driftwood Gulch. Hand me my saddlebags there, boy. Sure, here here you go. Uh, But, Sheriff, I don't think I'm ready to be in charge around here. Nonsense, son. Of course you are. You're the best deputy I ever had. You got a good head on your gills. You don't swim off the handle too easily, and, well, in a pinch, you're the fastest draw in the territory. No... I'd say you're the perfect choice to fill in while I'm gone. Now hand me those maps there. Sure. Golly, Sheriff, I don't reckon I... Well, you'll be fine. Besides, 
I'll probably only be gone a day or two at the most. Next, son, this here's Driftwood Gulch. What kind of lawlessness ever happens around here? Why, the only time this old jail cell ever gets any use is when old Fish Callahan falls asleep on the bed there after having one too many salt waters at the Union Saloon. Well, I reckon you're right, Sheriff, but what about the trout? Yeah, what about them? What if the trout come into town? Well, when they come into town, they're just coming in here to trade at the mercantile. Listen, the trout aren't going to cause us any problems. We leave them alone, they leave us alone. When we do meet, we treat each other with respect. If everyone around here had that attitude, there'd never be any problems with the trout. I suppose. Oh, here comes Johnson. I gotta go. I'll be back before you even realize I'm gone. Now remember, you're in charge. Just run this place like I would, and you'll be fine. Right. Oh, and remember, tomorrow morning you gotta go out and meet the stage from Spearhead. It'll be carrying the weekly strong box for the bank. Yes, sir. And Guppy? Yes, sir. Relax, boy. You'll be fine. You ready to go, Johnson? Yes, sir. We better head out if we're going to make Cheyenne by nightfall. See you later, Gup. Safe travel, Sheriff. All right, let's go. Here, here. As Deputy Guppy stands outside the Sheriff's office and watches Sheriff Bass and Johnson ride out of town to the south, he can't help but be a little nervous at his newfound responsibilities. How will Deputy Guppy do as the acting law and order in Driftwood Gulch? You'll have to tune in and find out in the next exciting episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy! You know, Fidget, that wasn't half bad. And that sheriff sounded a lot like Dr. Floyd's dad. Uh-huh. And Benjamin Franklin. Uh, yeah. And Captain Ahab, too. Uh-huh. Well, if I wanted to hear more of this show, where would I do so? <laughs> Got it. SaturdayMorningTheater.com. I'll go check it out right now while you are getting my scuba gear out of the garage. <laughs> Yes, how else am I going to make a cameo on the Tales of Deputy Guppy if I don't have my scuba gear? That's going to send their ratings right through the roof. Tune in to the Tales of Deputy Guppy as part of Saturday Morning Theater at SaturdayMorningTheater.com. Brand new family-friendly audio drama fun from the creator of the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd. Only at SaturdayMorningTheater.com. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Battery, along with my associates, Arnie Kunchbein. I can introduce myself. Thank you very much. All right. Hi, I'm Arnie Kunchbein. That's it. That's it. And also, do you want me to introduce you, Brad? Well, of course, Mr. Bell. That's your job as host. Thank you, Brad. And I'd like to introduce Brad... Hold it. What? Here's your script. Script? (laughs) Well, you gotta know what to say. All right. And introducing Brad Montworth, a salesman, incomparable public relations expert, and, of course, unrivaled attorney at law. No, come on, you know how to say it, Mr. Bell. Unrivaled attorney Attorney at at law. law. Oh, Mr. Bell, you shouldn't say those things. You make me blush. Can I do my introduction over again? No. We're here for an important reason. Very important. Indeed. If you think you deserve significant financial compensation, call Brad Motworth, attorney, attorney at attorney law. Oh, uh, boy. At 555 No, 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 no. We're here to remind everybody to take steps to avoid the coronavirus. Yeah, don't catch it. Because there's no one you can sue. Wash your hands thoroughly and keep social distancing. What? Social distancing. One more time. Stay about six feet away from everybody else. Right, very good. Oh, I gotta wash my hands thoroughly. I don't want to get me this corona. Ooh, keep your distance now. Socially. I want to keep feeling fine. Corona. Never gonna stop getting squirts from my Purell. I'm always gonna buy all the toilet paper that they sell. Bye, 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 Corona. Don't get no closer, huh? Beat it, huh? Far enough where I can't see your eyes, Corona. An illness history is not for me. Uh-uh. Don't 
want to try your COVID on for size Corona. Never going to touch. Stay away. My epidermis never wants to be close to where that nasty germ is. Bye, 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 bye. Woo. Fly Corona! Fly Corona! Captain Fly Corona! What? Pumpkin Pie Corona! Now wait a minute! Fly Corona! Goodbye Corona! Good riddance!